All right, <laughs> Pisces, this is all about you. Pisces, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Thank you so, so much for all your support and your love for the channel. Bless you all. Pisces, let's get right into it. Let's just do it. This is for Pisces, sun, moon, rising sign. Or wherever Pisces influences your chart, you can take these energies for the next seven days and apply it there. Remember, if it doesn't fit, please don't squeeze it. It's the holidays. Not everything fits. You know what I'm saying? All right, Pisces, let's see. Let's see what energy wants to come out for you. Remember, there's an extended reading below. That, that link is in the description box below. Oh, 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 are you doing with a Scorpio? Who's playing with Scorpios? Because this is a Scorpio card. This is also like getting shown on something or being able to use your voice, surviving after something that's been hard or difficult or struggling, sort of the resurrection stone of um, this Oracle card deck, if you will. Uh, a sense of something that had been buried or something that had been, I don't know, Dead has risen. It's that phoenix energy of uh, having to fall to ashes to come back to a new life. But there's also this energy of finally being able to speak or get your voice or light being shown on something. This could also be stepping into the spotlight. Like, like, hello, I'm here. All right, this is this could be it. This this week is when you step into the spotlight. Um, kick off sort of your new here I am, I'm coming out kind of <laughs> like energy. There's just this, there's just this flare and zazz and blah, 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 boom to this week for you, Pisces. But I think more importantly, underneath, emotionally, there's a sense of you finally being able to bear your soul and sh like, show who you are, but also shed light on something, shed light on a topic, shed light, like, like um, awareness type of thing, onto something that had been hidden or buried. Um, this is also Scorpionic energy. Scorpionic energy, remember, is that Pluto, that death and resurrection phase, that, that death and rebirth, that, that life and resurrection, that um, getting a second chance at something, it could also be too. But I'm really feeling for you guys that something, the light has been shown on something, and it could very well be, um, it could be anything that you've been keeping hidden or keep trying, trying to keep away. Like, it's almost like, something that you've been trying to keep away from yourself. You're so good at absorbing other people's, um, other people's feelings. You're so good at accepting other people's feelings, but your own doesn't get that, that same consideration or respect from you. And I think that's because you're always so filled with other people's feelings. And I, maybe it could be this week, you are pointing out to somebody the, uh, what they need to do, like like showing them the way because you've been through it. And I know that I got that energy from you a while ago, and uh, maybe a, no, just a couple weeks ago, this sense of you being the one to guide somebody or lead them through. This is, but this is also like, I hadn't noticed this before. I wasn't aware of this before. And now suddenly, now suddenly not only am I aware of it, but I'm accepting of it. I'm not afraid of it. Um, there's a strength and a power to this card. Yeah, that's your crowning energy. Awareness, a light dawning, uh, exposure. Interesting. Let it shine. Okay. Let it shine. Um being the star, being the center stage. And that's why I said it's like, it's not only hidden, something hidden and being exposed. It's more that you've accepted it. It's more that you're choosing to expose it. That's the power and the strength because there's a consciousness behind it. It's not just accidental. This could be something, something seen that you hadn't seen before. Like something that you're finally able to accept or willing to accept. Here are two energies, watch and wait. So something is, okay, two energies that have flipped over. Let me explain. Uh, Seahorse spirit, watch and wait. This is your energy, okay? Which is usually still and calm and patient and will wait forever for somebody. But this is not, this is, you don't have to wait anymore. 
Um, maybe not things are picking up, but that things are here. They're here now. Like this is the moment and this is the time. And then this is a rebirth is assured, but it's in reverse. So um, a rebirth has happened. It's already dawned. It's coming. It's here right now. So you don't have to wait anymore. Now is the moment and now is the time. What have you been waiting for? What have you been thinking about? What have you been excited about? What have you been wanting? Um, there's definitely, there's more scorpionic energy. This is Scorpio and Pisces. So a uh, grand water trine, right? A uh, very compatible energy um, that sort of strengthens each other because it understands each other. And uh, there's definitely this compatibility. So it's true that you could have found somebody that you're extremely compatible with, um, a person that you're compatible with. Maybe somebody who is unexpected and a little bit unconventional. Um, but definitely somebody who was in the dark, something that was in the dark that came to light. It's here now though. It's not, it's not just being exposed. It's exposed now. It's here now. I, I keep getting that over and over again. It's here now. It's here now. It's here now. All of these cards are in reverse. So Sandpiper Spirit, be playful. You're not playing around. So you're not joking around. You are confronting somebody this week. That's what's going on. Over the next seven days, you are confronting somebody. There's no way that they can ignore you. There's no way that they can hide from you. There's no way that they can get around this. You're not the most confrontational sign. But the bottom line is that there's some sort of exposure here. There's some sort of um, revelation, understanding. Um, hold on. Not joking around, not playing. And then this is Cancerian energy. We have a grand water trine here. This is something that's very important to you because it's not... You're not tiptoeing in the shallows. This would be happy and, you know, happy-go-lucky and yay, playful. But this is not. This is underneath. This is like upside down. Maybe something has turned your world upside down, Pisces. Something that you've just discovered has turned your world upside down. But you want to deal with it and you want to confront it straight on. This is also slow and steady wins the race. No, no, no. Things are picking up. Things are speeding up. No slow and steady. But this is still accepting your emotions. Maybe not necessarily um, happy about something that's had a bit happening, but um, oh, hold on one second. Upside down Cancerian energy, upside down Pisces energy, upside down Scorpio energy. There's a little bit of nostalgia here too. There's like something that was buried and is coming up to the surface. Something has bubbled up. And you're not necessarily extremely comfortable with the emotions, but despite the fact that you're uncomfortable with them, you're confronting them. There's something about going back into the past to understand and reveal, digging something up from underneath, something that wasn't right. This was definitely almost like disassociation. Um, something that wasn't right and didn't feel good to you. You see these numbers, there's a lot of fives here too. This is this is transformation or change, but it's change that's already happened. Change that's already come about. A change that you had to go through that you didn't like because of something that was forced upon you. And now there's this moment of confrontation and also resolution. There's a lot of resolution going on this week and you're no different, but there's something emotional that's been buried. That's really interesting energy. Okay, I always say that I know I... I more for Pisces, Pisces sun, moon rising. This sandpiper energy is a could be Aquarian Gemini energy. Usually not Libra, but it's definitely more air energy of of lightheartedness or thoughtfulness. This is something that you didn't understand. This is something that that was confusing for you or you didn't know. And that's why the light has been revealed. That's why the, the crowning energy is here. Oh, crap. So this is heartbreak. Heartbreak. But this is in the past. This is going back into the past. Something about a heartbreak from the past. Something about a heartbreak from the past. Why it happened or the motives behind it. 
what was going on is is being revealed and it's it's coming it's it's suddenly you're realizing it and you're seeing it um this is a while ago though but the thing is it, it affected you it affected you and it was buried the, the way that it affected you affected you was buried and it's just coming up and 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 you're confronting it oh, i apologize sorry it's just coming up and it's affecting you now starfish spirit has come up and i think it's been in reverse too oh why is it all in reverse open to infinite possibilities starfish spirit okay you don't want this to come out you didn't you this was definitely something that you wanted to hide open to infinite possibilities that's telling me that this is not, there's not, there's one meaning for this. There's only one thing it could mean. This isn't open for interpretation. That's what this means. This is a judgment call. This is like the gavel has landed down on the desk. This is really like, um, I don't know, have, and there's no justice cards here, but there is no... There's no ambiguity about this discovery and it has something to do with a former lover or former love interest. There's no ambiguity about it. And I don't think that you want to everybody to know about it, but I do think it was necessary for you to realize it. Oh, this is okay. Pisces energy, Pisces energy. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces energy. Sun, moon, rising sign. Sun, moon, rising sign. Trust in divine detours. Be fearless and bold, badger spirit. So this is, oh, I'm sorry. And I also, this one came, I, I was shuffling and the cards weren't coming out. Um, and so I put the, put the, um, I put the camera on pause so that I could get the cards out. It was interesting. It's like, this was a very difficult judgment. This is also like, this is like deliberation in court. I don't know if any of you are going through legal proceedings, but this is like deliberation in court and finally something being decided, something that had to do with maybe, maybe a while ago, a decision that was made, something that you would rather not talk about or rather it not come up again, but it's coming up again for some reason. And it's, it's, um, um, you know, without your knowledge, without your choice, it's being talked about somehow in the public. Maybe it could be in the public court or some sort of institution has gotten a hold of this and they're discovering it and they're talking about it this could be something that you did years ago and or that somebody you knew did years ago and now it's finally coming out and it's not it's not good things it's almost it's very heartbreaking this is something that is is almost traumatizing for you i i would yeah i feel like i feel like this this oh the crowning energy was so nice but then there's all this energy of of uh, no, the exposure is unwanted. The exposure is almost not disbelief. It's not that you can't believe it. It's that you can believe it. And that's what upsets you so much. And this is the gavel being dropped. Now, this could be in your favor, but it's still not a comfortable circumstance for you. It's not, it's not a situation that makes you happy or feels good to you. Um, and then you have the energy behind this, which is the grounding energy, which is be fearless and bold. No, you would rather this week just... Uh, just just be ignored and not have anybody's you're like you're like I could see like get the cameras off me get the cameras off me get the cameras off me definitely not wanting to be in the spotlight this could even just be something that you're working on Pisces that you're that um that is getting attention but you don't think it's ready to get attention or you weren't ready for somebody to see this but I just feel like this is about this is about oh, an old an old heartbreak, something that really kind of twisted and flipped your emotions, um, something that you had tried to bury, um, but it, 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 but it didn't go anywhere. The, the thing is it just sat and it was stagnant. 
This could have been a heartbreak. This could have been treachery, somebody cheating on somebody and it just coming out and you just realizing it and it hurting like hell because, oh my God, it's like you would have never have thought that this person would have behaved that way. But at the same time, and it, it, it's, it's out of the blue. That's what this is saying. And this is Sagittarius energy. This is, um, you know, this is like almost like a trickster energy. Coyote can be very tricky, um, can be very deceptive. So there's this energy of somebody having uh, something that looked so good not being so good and you just realizing it and it coming out now. Let me flip the camera around to review the cards. This is very difficult energy. And the fact that the cards took so long to come out the way that they did makes me realize that this is not something that you are dealing with very well at all right now. So hold on. So this is one of the only upright cards. This peacock, let it shine. So something is being exposed and brought to light, right? Bringing your voice out, speaking out against, and it could be you speaking out against an injustice. Um, uh, because you're, you're shedding light on it because you've experienced it and it would hurt or harm other people if you didn't talk about it out loud. Um, maybe you're being some sort of spokesperson uh, for heartbreak, something that really ha harmed you or hurt you, something that you had not wanted to talk about, you'd hid, you'd buried. Um, you, 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 yeah, you sort of shelled yourself away from, so not accepted these emotions and hidden because it was twisted. It was something... It was something shady and on the down low and extremely twisted. And it could have to do with a father figure, parental figure of somehow um, trying to make you hide something or force you not to see something or force you not to say something. Um, a betrayal of sorts could be like a divorce between parents. Your parent cheated on somebody or it could be somebody that was cheating on you. There is this energy of sort of this twisted father energy. Um, um, and I don't know what that means, but it's almost like there's this energy of something it could have to do. You could be dealing with a Scorpio that has sort of a seeded past, um, a, a lot of trauma in their past. And now it's all coming up and it's just coming out in a way that breaks your heart or broke their heart or their heart is broken. And so there's been a rift or a shift between the two of you. This is something that was, that was uh, trying to be hidden and it came up to the surface. Um, and there's really no way for, this is some, this is trickster energy. This is somebody who tried to appear uh, perfect on the outside, is somebody who looked really perfect, and now all of a sudden, uh, it's shifted. There's been a, a really, there's been a really big shift in their character, or now you see them in a completely different way. Um, this was somebody who, um, yeah, this was somebody who did betray you, who you would have never thought betrayed you. This is an energy of somebody who was very, very close to you, maybe familiar energy. Um, or a lover, a lover who suddenly you found out betrayed you or was betraying you. Um, and it could very well be that either this lover is already out of your life, but now there's some legal issues and it's almost like you're being called in to testify or you're being called in to, yeah, you know, bear witness or you're finally confronting this issue and filing a complaint against them, exposing what they did to you or how they hurt you. Or it's you helping other people by exposing what they did to you, um, um, by coming front uh, forth and talking about it. Or um, it's you sort of blowing the whistle on them, um, holding them accountable for what they've done. This is higher power, higher energy, spirit has your back. You were drawn to this sort of an enlightenment. It's, it's weird. It's like enlightenment through darkness. This is something that you went through that was a whole, that was traumatizing. And now all of a sudden, now all of a sudden you see the way through. Um, and really it is about being able to make the judgment to um, hold somebody accountable for their behavior and their actions. Uh, and this is sort of somehow all coming back up. I feel like this, this for some of you could have been from a long time ago. The thing that happened or it could be something somebody that you're dealing with that's going through this and and this caused a rift in your relationship or it's exposed or showed something about them that you um are, aren't happy with it could also be unfortunately a betrayal um the fact that something is going to stop now or a relationship has to end because it's come up that they really we're doing something on the DL that you could have never imagined that they would do to you. So this is definitely um, trust in divine detours and be uh, fearless and bold 
um, somebody backing down, being a coward, or not wanting grounding energy, not wanting to come out and talk about this because they are filled with fear. Um, their courage has taken a real hit here. Somebody who is usually normally extremely brave is now acting very not brave because they're, and, and maybe that's what's cueing you in to the fact that something's wrong here, something's going on. Um, some, something is really worrying you and making you fearful. Um, yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm getting. This is the Oracle card reading. I'm going to articulate this and go in and see what, what, um, more details on what is this backstory and where all this is going and, and what's happening, um, who this is. Um, it's interesting because it would seem that it's you, but it's almost like you just discovered that somebody that you trusted was hiding something from you. And, and it could very well be not that they did anything wrong to you, but that they had this past that they tried to not talk to about anybody. But now it's like you have to support them to help them through um, because they really need your support. It's all about sort of something to do with legal matters or legal issues. Um, but it's really, um, yeah, it, it, it's, 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 it's something, it's something that is like a, it's like a twist, um, that you weren't prepared to deal with, um, and that they weren't prepared to deal with. And it's almost like you just, yeah, I, I gotta get, I gotta get more from the tarot cards. That's what I've got to do. So, um, yeah, uh, uh, the extended link is below and we're going to do the romance reading over there too. I'll see you over there, Pisces.